I got a little, little uh, thing I made. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. I can't even see it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just hear it. And now, for a transmission update. 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 Blocker! Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Blocker! They, they, so now for my transmission they, update. They heard that, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, uh, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I hit it earlier. I bought my transmission since the last episode. Hell yeah. But we're here, so you guys can see it's not in my car. But oh, it's dang. on the way. That's how it works? I yeah. thought you just bought it and your car started working. <laughs> well, you know, I thought that too. And then I bought it and I went and turned the key. You tried to And drive I still it. couldn't put it in gear. And yeah. I was like, wait, what the fuck? I was like, I thought I got transmission plus 200. And then <laughs> yeah, I realized, like, yeah, but it's, it's like, on the way. It's like stats in a video game. You're oh, like, yeah. I just oh, bought yeah. the new transmission. I should be able to go fucking zero to 60 in yeah. 0.5 seconds That's faster. That's how it works. Yeah. Yeah. I bought the the green you know green level transmission. I yeah. thought like yeah, it's like fucking CSR racing. Yeah, <laughs> well, I wasn't even thinking that. I was thinking like Need for Speed. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's on the way. But it's from Canada, so it's gonna take like a little bit. Nice. It's like estimated for like the twenty first to like the twenty eighth. So yeah, that's not too bad. I like how you made that whole terrible. fucking intro thing to talk about your transmission. <laughs> <laughs> but we haven't even put a TikTok out in like a month. Okay. Okay. Hear yeah, me out. Come on, Dale. Hear me out. So what? What you guys don't get is, no, I get it. I look, I'm totally on your side about it. I just think it's funny. No, so I thought my computer could handle After Effects. I know there's like point one people in like the audience that even like. So I was trying to use After Effects, and apparently the GPU in my computer just isn't strong enough to handle it because it crashes literally every time. Fuck. So, because I had some cool ideas for videos, but I needed to do like some motion tracking and like some motion graphics and stuff, and that's like all After Effects. And every time I get like halfway done and it just crashes. So I'm gonna have to do that later on when yeah. I can get a better laptop. Well, also in the meantime, you can just use my computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna do that and then I'm gonna try to do that and then I can also do some shit that I don't need After Effects for. But uh, right. how you guys been doing? Been pretty good. I feel like we don't, you know, check in with each other like that. Like, how are you? I've been working more but still have no money. Yeah. Um, same. I, I mean, I can barely pay my bills and I have a little bit of money left over, but yeah. you know, surviving. Yeah. Track season just started. Still yeah. don't have a coach. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a tough one. Yeah. It's okay, though. But Peyton, she also doesn't have a coach now. So yeah. now we're in the oh, same really? boat. Nice. Yeah, her assistant coach uh, said she was leaving to go do her master so she could head coach somewhere else. And then, like, two weeks later, her head coach quit. Oh, fuck. So now <laughs> neither of us have a coach. I mean, the track team has a head coach, but we don't have a throws coach. And until we have a throws coach, they're not letting us throw at practice. <laughs> So oh, I'm wow. like, still I go working, to, are you still working with the uh, runners? No, thank God. They're letting us drill now. But also I'm like, what the fuck? Am, I'm driving out to Modesto from Turlock five days a week to drill and not even throw. Because they won't <laughs> five let us days throw. A week to run a drill. Yeah. They, they won't let us throw until we get a coach. Oh. What? Yeah. That doesn't, I, that doesn't make any sense. No, I agree. Why don't wow. you just go to the high school and throw? But, well, because they said we, we you can throw on your own, but it's like... Damn, I got class, I got, like, school schoolwork to do, and I have work. Like, I base my schedule around, hey, we have practice this time, so I'm going to throw it this time. Yeah, yeah. But now I still have to be at practice, and they're like, throw some other time. I'm like, that's what practice was supposed to be for. <laughs> I thought you could use stuff like that whenever you want, because, like... Well, like I, that's what I thought. I'm like, yo, like, why like, do we need to coach like a facility, there? Like, like, why do we need to coach there? Like, we're already showing up to drill. Like, yeah. I don't know. And, like, I'll probably talk to my head coach about it and be like... So what's going to happen if we do decide to throw? Like cuz yeah. I'm not even I don't even need to use MJC implements cuz I have literally I have my own implements, yeah. my own shoe, like everything I need to throw, I have on my own. Yeah. I just want to be able to throw at MJC during yeah. practice time. Cuz like that's how it is at Stan, like anybody can use like the facilities there. You just need to reserve them sometimes. I but anybody can use the track, anybody can use any of the other I shit. I don't know what the problem would be cuz it's like I know in high school like you have to have a coach that is supervisor. Yeah, we're all, all like over Everybody's minors. But so in it's MJC like, it's like we're all over 18. Yeah. So I don't think we need that same I don't know. It doesn't make Yeah, it's weird. I it's just maybe weird. just to have someone there and watch and see if you fuck up and just somebody to laugh. Yeah. yeah. We have each yeah. other to do that. <laughs> Um, <laughs> like we know more about throwing than any of the other coaches anyway. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> just be the coach. Yeah. Oh yeah. The student becomes the master. Or get Bardis over to their coach. Oh yeah. He don't have time. He's head coaching for the high school now. He can. 
But fucking Alec told me that. He's like, why don't you just be our coach? I'm like, what? But I'm trying to compete. He's like, yeah, but you could just be our coach too. I'm like, can you do both? I don't want to. Well, I was I mean, going to say, I could, like, but it'd suck for everybody. I, but every, I mean, they put out for, a, uh, Fuck, I don't know what I was going to It would <laughs> suck for you. It'd be cool for everybody else. Yeah. But. yeah. I mean, like, I have the knowledge to do it. I mean, I coach at a high school level. Yeah. Like, but you're not going to like. And I have the most competition experience on the team as far yeah. as the throwers. So, like, I could do it. Would I be as good as hiring, like, an actual oh, college level coach? It would, yeah. No. I mean, it would. No, I wouldn't be. It'd be great but. for everybody else, but then, like, you're not really going to, like, progress much if you're just trying to teach everybody no. else. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. No, I. No. Yeah. Especially, like, in a year when I'm like, yo, I'm trying to throw well so I can. Basically, how will I throw depends, like, how will I throw determines if I go to college next year. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty much what it is. Yeah. If I throw really well, I can go to Sac State. Yeah. <laughs> if I throw like shit, this is my last year of college. <laughs> it's pretty <laughs> high stakes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Nothing I didn't to worry about. I wasn't, yeah. I wasn't too worried about it when I had, you know, like, Susie Powell as a coach. You know, oh, I have an Olympian as a coach who has, like, all these connections with all these schools that I would like to go to. Yeah. Like, sure. Like, it's going to be tough, but, like, I got, like, someone really useful to help in my corner. And then it's like, nah, now you have no coach. And I'm like, oh, this just became a lot harder. Yeah. Now like it's pretty a, crazy. A lot, I'm a lot more nervous now. Car? Yeah. Yeah, I think it was a car outside Sorry. somewhere. No, that's that's kind of crazy. I mean, hmm. Good luck. Unless fucking 50 grand pops out of nowhere so I can pay to go to Sac State. <laughs> Who knows? Unless that happens. <laughs> and I don't throw well. I am not going to college next year, but at yeah. least I'll, but I finished my AA this year. Like mm-hmm. I'm finishing out and then in the summer I have to take a chemistry lab. Yeah. And once I take that, I have my associate arts and communications. Nice. So at least I could show up and be like, Hey, I get, you know, $5 more an hour because this piece of paper. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, fuck, there was something. Oh my God, dude. So you can buy roller coasters on Alibaba. Really? Yeah. I saw that. I've fuck? been I've been looking at that. It's yeah. like a wholesale thing. Is that like a legit company though? Like is it like so, a good company? Alibaba is basically just like Chinese Amazon, but yeah, you can buy shit there. But I didn't realize they had like stuff on the scale of like I was looking at like thirty thousand dollar roller coaster uh, roller coasters yeah. on Alibaba and I was like, dude, this is dope. <laughs> well, I looked at like you know the water slides they have at like the yeah. Hawaiian resorts? <laughs> they they yeah. have those. I'm like, what yeah. the fuck? Bro, you can buy like houses on Alibaba. <laughs> it's dude, crazy. Ima- imagine like buying your little ho- like out here. Yeah. And just having a fucking roller coaster. That's what I was gonna say, yeah. dude. <laughs> imagine, you know, envision it. You guys pull up, we're coming to record the podcast. You know, we sit down. I turn around, I'm like, oh, hey, look what I got over here. Fucking roller coaster. Yeah. <laughs> There's kids so, going down it. <laughs> what's that movie with Johnny Charging people where they, like, start their own amusement park? The fucking, like, fucked up shitty amusement park? Oh, um. oh what's that movie called? Fuck. I know which movie you're talking about, but I forget. Oh, um, dude, I rode a mechanical bull the other day. <laughs> what? Yeah, How so I went to, so you know the party that we went to after the Vistas? Mm-hmm. So I forgot, uh, my friends over there, they bought a mechanical bull, and so- um, Wait, They bought it? Or action they Point. It? Yeah. Oh. I, I, it didn't load, but I remembered. It's Action oh. Point. I um, I've seen it. I, at first, I thought they rented it, because they had it months ago, and then I realized, I was like, oh no, they bought it, because they <laughs> still have it, right? That's fucking So ridiculous. I pulled up, and I was like saying hi to people, and like, you know, everything was cool, and this and that, and I looked at it, and I was like- I kind of want to ride it, you know? <laughs> and my friend, I, like, I looked at my friend Jose, and I was like, hey, do you know how to operate this? Because it was like the panel. And he was like, dude, I've never used this. So I was like, do you want to learn? And then I got up on it, and I was like, it started spinning, and I was like, all right, cool, we're good. You know, he was over there, like, working that shit like he's fucking Zaytoven, you know? It was wild. <laughs> and then, uh, so we, uh, and it just started spinning, and, like, it was pretty crazy. And I, that was the moment I realized. I was like, I don't know how to ride a bull. <laughs> and so it was just, like, spinning and, like, going like this and, like, doing the whole thing. And then eventually – the other thing I didn't think about is, like, where you go when you go off. Because when I flew off, I flew off, right? And I had to, like, go completely, like, spread out, lay down under it because the thing's just spinning over <laughs> you. And I, for some reason, I always had the assumption that mechanical bulls were soft. Like, it's, like, a soft piece of plastic. Dude, it's, like, hard-ass plastic that will just knock you out. (laughs) Like, (laughs) dude, I was just spread out, like, on the mat part, and it was, like, going, and it was, like, grazing, like, the top of, like, my hair, and just, like, going, like, it was going like this every time it would pass by, like, 
Fuck. And it was just spinning. And I was like, dude, if I raise my head literally an inch, I'm going to get knocked out. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> dude, it, and, uh, I was sitting there laying down and I was just like, yo. And I looked at Jose after I got up. I was like, that was so fun. <laughs> I mean, the closest thing I can relate to, uh, when I was younger, you know, like at the rodeo, they always have like the fucking like five and six year olds that do like the steer riding. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, like yeah. Little steer. So I did that when I was younger a few times when I was like six or seven. <laughs> we go to the rodeo and I would do that. Yeah. But like, that's the closest thing I have to it. And I don't really remember it either. I did it one time. You know that little uh, like fair thing that I have in Waterford? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, they had one there and fucking oh, that's pretty cool. threw me off. <laughs> do uh, you guys want to go ride bulls? No. Mechanical bulls? No, like real bulls. No. No. No, like some like some kind of chill ones though. No. No. No, like I no. just I, w- I look. I've seen it. I've watched a lot of rodeo because you know my dad's side is Oki. Been yeah. to a lot of rodeos, and I watched eight seconds. I don't want to be Lane Frost. <laughs> yeah. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I was. That's going, a hard no for me. Those fucking guys are insane. I was going to like a few years ago, and then actually that was when I hurt my knee. See, that's uh-huh. that's what happens. You go and ride a bull. You're like, oh, they're chill bulls, and then bushwalk bushwhacker walks <laughs> yeah. out. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> well, no, because the where I was gonna go wasn't gonna be like crazy ones. But like, imagine though, damn, what you fucked up your bull riding career. Yeah, I was actually because I was talking to Bubba about it, and because he like was going to this place and like doing it, and I was like, okay, yeah, maybe. And then I hurt my knee, and I was like, whoa, now I can't even walk. So like, it's probably not gonna happen. But <laughs> hey, you don't need to walk to ride a bull. No, no, you don't. So really, what you're saying is you just weren't man enough. Well, no, I straight up was like limping. Like if I got thrown off the wrong way, it would have just like torn my leg in half. Don't like, get thrown off. Pussy. Yeah, you're right. I was just a bitch. Exactly. Is he? <laughs> no. The truth but... comes out. <laughs> no, but dude, the mechanical Me bull. Me saying I wouldn't even do it. The yeah, mechanical yeah. bull. Fuck that. Very, very fun. Highly recommend. I'd ride a mechanical We bull. should get that for our next party. <laughs> I don't know how much they are to rent. Um, Probably we look pretty into it. fucking expensive. How much did they buy it for? I don't know. I don't even know where they got it. I, I bet that's pretty I just, fucking expensive. I think they're only like 100 or 200 bucks to rent. Yeah. I Because I, I don't I don't know. Actually, I, well, they're I, probably not that expensive. I was no, really probably cheaper. I was really curious because I walked in and right we were all just having a few beers and then I look over and there's just a mechanical bull in the backyard. Did they so have, I was like, what did the they way? have like the fucking like blow up area around it? For yeah, like, you get thrown off. Yeah, yeah, it was like you know like a like a slightly harder bouncy house under. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So it's like when I fell down, I kind of was like, okay, I just got to make sure I like stay flat as soon as I get down. And then it was doing yeah. the whole thing. Don't look up or your neck's getting broken. No, nah, straight up. Yeah, like I was down and I was like, my first thought was like, stay down, stay down. Because I was like, dude, if I go up, my shit is like, I'm, pfft, it's going to be over. Bro, I saw this shit, the, like this guy actually riding a bull. Yeah. He got thrown off when he got, he got thrown up like in the air <sighs> and the bull bucked forward. And then like, so he got thrown up in the air. Yeah. Bull bucked forward, so then when he bucked again, the guy was over its ass, and he Fuck. it bucked him, and he fucking did a flip backwards, Dude. went like fucking eight feet in the air, and landed right on his fucking head. Dude, bull riding Shit was crazy. is the craziest sport. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know if there's any other sport that is like more hardcore. Because it's no. like, if you fall in the wrong place, it just steps on you and kills you. Or like, if you get skewered by like oh, a, by the Missing front of it, game. or like, yeah. wait, what's up? I said we're missing a good game right now. Oh, who is it? 27 to 27 Ravens versus an overtime. Raiders. Oh, interesting. Wow. Did yeah. I don't expect that. Nope. <laughs> hmm. Who'd you expect to win? The Ravens. Ravens, right. Wait, how far in the really? game is it? It's they it's overtime. going into overtime. Oh, right, right, right. How long is overtime again? Um, it's a, Overtime is one 15-minute quarter, but the first person to score a touchdown wins. Oh. Or if you That's score weird. a field goal. And then the other team gets a chance to score. If they don't score on the next drive, then you win. Mm-hmm. Huh. But if you score a touchdown, first person to score a touchdown wins. That's so weird. And I or feel like, if oh, you, I guess, it is hard to score though. So I guess it kind of yeah. makes sense. Otherwise, it probably drag on if, forever. If the team that gets the ball first in overtime doesn't score on their first drive, and then you go down and kick a field goal, then you win. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I feel like overtime is not very common in football for some reason. No, it's not. Which is weird because it's not like you would think it would be more common because it's pretty much. Like, uh, then again, I guess. I don't know. It's way more common in college. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, Um, college overtime is way different. Like, college is like, oh, we're putting it on the 20, and you get four downs to score. I don't like that. I wish we had a big school next to us. A big, like, not even a big football college, but just a big college that had football. Like, Fresno. Like, you know, the Fresno games, like, it'd be cool, but they're, like, like a couple hours away. But, like, if Stan had a football team? Yeah, like, if Stan had a football game, that would be, like, right there. 
Yeah. The, the closest Halo thing, gaming, dude. The closest thing we have <laughs> is going to like MJC games, but that's yeah. not even that's not that's the same. That's fun. Yeah. MJC is just basically a big high school game. Uh, yeah. Not yeah, the level, yeah. not the level of talent, obviously, but as far as like the experience of going to the game, <laughs> the hype. It's basically just same. a big high school game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Um. No, nah, it's kind of whack. Uh. McGregor versus MGK. <laughs> oh yeah, the fucking. Just, you, you gotta drop some knowledge. Did, did you hear no, about that? Like the VMAs. I have no clue. Oh, so I guess um they're like walking down the carpet, whatever, and then uh, Conor McGregor is trying to get a picture with uh, Machine Gun Kelly. Oh, okay. And then Machine Gun Kelly said no and like pushed him. Oh, that's weird. Spilled uh, Conor's drink on him, and then Conor tried throwing a punch at him. Oh wow! <laughs> Why is he? MGK was just fucking smiling. The whole yeah, time. he's like, laughing the whole time. And McGregor just pissed. Why? So does he? Is there context that I'm missing here? No. Like, knowing so MGK, weird. he was probably just fucking around. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that's what he does. Oh, interesting. Huh. And then knowing Connor, he's like, I don't care if it makes me look like an asshole. I'm going to try to hit him. <laughs> yeah. Like, you'd think, like, MGK is so much bigger. Because MGK is, like, fucking six foot something. Yeah. So I think he's like, like six Connor's five. like Yeah, Connor's like five nine, five eight. But, like... But then it's like, oh, this guy was the best fighter in the world at one point. So yeah. Like, Next thing you know, even we're though he's see a, um, Connor versus uh, MGK MG- boxing match. MGK would lose 100. percent I don't give a fuck. No. That MGK is MGK that much bigger. No. He's not. Next winning. thing you know, Machine Gun Kelly's gonna wham upset <laughs> wins. Shanks him. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Dude. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. And, you know, I was like, what is? Okay, did you guys see? The weird, the thing that fucking Madonna was wearing uh, in the beginning. No. She had like this like, like, how do I describe it? Like some sort of like BDSM Third Reich Black, third Reich black Leather thing going Isn't on. Isn't she like over 50? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, but she was looking like a little. Uh, no, she's like got to be in her 60s now. I think she's in her 60s. Why is she wearing that? No, but this shit was like, I was like, I can't tell if you're like. Just really, I was like, I can't tell if you're a dominatrix or you're just really, really racist. Like, there was weird. <laughs> I couldn't tell. There's man. no in between. It looked like she was gonna like brand you, but like with a swastika. That was kind of the vibe I was Jesus getting. Fucking Christ. Um, watch now. When I show you this outfit, you're gonna be like, "Damn, kind of hot," but I also feel increasingly bigoted for looking at this. <laughs> See what I mean? What the fuck? Yeah, it's kind of weird. She got look- some sort of like some sort of like dominatrix third Reich thing going yeah, on. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like a hotter version of um oh fuck what's her name Hitler's side piece <laughs> is it hot like that's all fake like her boobs are fake her face is fake oh I don't even have her much of an opinion fake. on like if it's hot or not I just thought the whole outfit was crazy looking oh. I was like something feels like fascist it was like one of those things where you look at something and you're like something about this feels racist and I don't know why Yeah, <laughs> that was like the feeling I had when yeah. I looked at it and I was kind of like Hmm, strange. Because she's got, like, the hat with, like, the little visor, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I was like, I feel like there should be, like, some insignias or something here. Something's <laughs> yeah. just, like, <laughs> something's weird. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, man. I just, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of strange. Yeah. Um, Dude, Lil Uzi Vert's Diamond. I heard about that. The shit got w- stolen. Was that when he was uh, crowd surfing? Yeah. This guy got stolen out of his fucking head. I saw the, uh, the meme. It was, like, Lil Uzi Vert, and it's, like, Thanos pulling the, <laughs> the stone out of fucking vision. I See, like, that had to fucking, fucking hurt. Funny. Well, yeah. apparently he got it back, so I don't know got if it, it fell out and he like got it off the ground or if somebody had it in their hand. I I don't really know how the getting it back part, but he got it back. But yeah, it's out of his head. Who the fuck would give that back? I don't know. I don't know I even know how it went down. He if was it just, came out like, it, I imagine it shouldn't be just the type of thing that could just fall out. Like it must have been like ripped out of his head. That's what I thought. I was like, somebody must have like went like that. But, dude, it's crazy because that was, like, a $24 million diamond. So, it's, yeah. like, imagine if it would have just disappeared. What's up? Uh, he said that um, the fan that took it, uh, everyone else saw it and were beating his ass. Oh, really? <laughs> That's kind of dope. Oh, damn. That's crazy. <laughs> wow. So, how much is that diamond? Oh, it was, like, a $24 million diamond. <laughs> that sounds like a thing Lil Uzi Vert fans would do, though. Yeah. yeah. He Dude, he'd been making payments on it for, like, because when he got it installed, he said he'd been making payments for, like, a decade. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's just crazy. <laughs> and even with payments, think about that. You're paying like a few hundred thousand dollars every single year yeah. for like one stone. Yeah. That's that crazy. shit is like, dude, that thing looks like it's out of Indiana Jones, bro. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. He's going to need to make a lot more songs that make as much as Exo Tour Life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy, man. <laughs> also, though, like such a crazy flex. Like, yeah. You got to still. Hey, you like, know this $24,000 diamond or $24 million diamond? I put it in my face. Yeah. It's funny because, like, you can see the evolution. Like in the '90s, p- 
people just had chains. Yeah. That's all they did, you know? Two like, chains. Yeah. And then into the 2000s, the chains got bigger, you know? You started to see, like, crazy pendants. Then in, like, the 2010s, it the pendants watches. really got wild. With, it like, was watches for a little bit, too. Watches. Yeah, watches have always been a thing, you know? And then, like, in the 2010s, it's like the pendants got crazier with, like, moving pieces and yeah. lights and all kinds of stuff. And then, like, Drake got the diamond, like, embedded in his tooth. And that, like, changed the game. They're like, oh, shit, we need to be made of diamonds now. Right. Then Lil Uzi Vert got a diamond in his forehead. So now they're going like, to start putting their dick in balls. Dude, oh, dude, yeah, bro. That's the, th- oh, oh, bro. Golden balls. Golden balls, dude. Bro, then they could. Bro, like a grill for your balls? Yeah, yeah. Dude. <laughs> then you could literally get with a gold digger. Dude, oh, bro. Dude, that's what you like. When you're hitting it from the back, you call him doing the gold digger. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Oh, what? You know what? You want this Kanye. golden dick? Kanye needs to get some gold shit on his dick and then perform Gold Digger and just start whipping his dick. <laughs> <laughs> I say oh, she a gold. <laughs> they have like some mm, fuck the bars would be like. <laughs> you know there's put, already a putting song. Putting the gold down in your booty. This is 24 carats up in your coochie. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh. You know he already he already has a song called Gold Digger though. Yeah, yeah, but I mean I don't think I mean, like. Mash made in heaven. I mean yeah, but. Did he have like gold on his balls and in mind when he was saying that, or no? But it works out. Mm, yeah, he it might does. have. It's Kanye. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's crazy though. That fucking like those like so different. Like him from fucking like college dropout yeah. to like Donda, two like completely fucking different styles of music. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's definitely. fucking crazy. Yeah, and I love both of them. I actually didn't used to listen to him very much, and more not super recently, but since um. Fuck, what's the name of that album? The one that uh, me, you, and Mike listened to. 808s? No, um, the Christian one. The one that had Yikes on it. Oh. Um, oh. Or I guess it's not the Christian one. It's the one before the Christian one that had a few things it, like that Jesus on it. Jesus Hold Me or some shit uh, like No, that? it's it's the one because there was Jesus is Lord or Jesus is King or whatever yeah, it was called. One. The one before that when he started to just barely dip into the Christian stuff. So it had yeah, like a few remember. samples that were kind of, I don't remember. But um, no, 80, 808s. What's up? Wasn't it like senior year when everyone on that trip? Yeah, yeah. Because we listened to that whole album on the, uh, uh, the YG album came out. yeah, yeah. There's a lot of good music in was that it, year. It wasn't Jesus, was it? No, um, I forget the name, but that album I started to listen to him more, and then I started to listen more to his old stuff. Because I actually never, for the longest time, didn't really like listen to his music. And Yo, then, ye? Uh, yeah, ye. ye. Yeah, ye. Right. <laughs> ye. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ye. <laughs> Fucking uh, Kanye. No, but no. Eight oh eights is like, man on the moon and eight oh eights are both in my top five rap albums. Well, Damn. I guess hip hop albums because they're not. I guess they're probably closer to hip hop albums than rap, really. I mean, but you know. both of them like top five for me. For mm-hmm. me personally, like, eight oh eights was such a good album. That one's like loved by everyone. Yeah. My favorite one is When Life Gives You Lemons, You Paint That Shit Gold. Wait, who's that by? <laughs> Atmosphere. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hey, Atmosphere's <laughs> hard, though. Fuck. Yeah, they were fun to see live, too. Oh, yeah. The way that I just, dude, the way that guy performed was crazy to me because it was like part concert and like part comedy show. Yeah, yeah. I was like, he's kind of working bits into like the songs. Like, My favorite part was when everyone started singing this song and he stopped, like, he think i don't know this shit yeah that's what i'm saying like <laughs> and it was funny because you could tell some of the stuff was like a little scripted where he kind of knew what he was gonna say yeah and kind of worked the crowd a little bit i was like well, this is interesting <laughs> i was like this guy is like like he's obviously he's a good singer and like rapper and stuff i was like he's kind of like a performer yeah there's yeah. A, yeah there's layers to this yeah it was pretty cool his outfit was funny too <laughs> yeah what was the Kanye album? just looked My like a middle-aged dead oh yeah completely dark, strange twisted fantasy or some shit like that that was another one that yeah. album's so fucking good yeah that one had like, um that's probably my second favorite kanye that album. one had power on it yeah um and no a few other good major. songs yeah powers on that power no, fucking i think the last for five... me it goes 808s then my beautiful twisted fantasy whatever it's yeah. fucking called and then uh I think and, it's and then story my of beautiful dark twisted fantasy yeah maybe yeah that's what it is it goes 808s then that then that album then probably either college dropout or story of pablo those two are kind of tied for me i fucking mm-hmm. love those albums yeah i love kanye though he was like him and kid cuddy and then like obviously like tupac cuz i was basic as fuck right, those right, were right. like when I, <laughs> I those are the only people in hip hop that i've always listened to yeah so like i feel like those are always going to be like higher just because like those i actually have nostalgia for right like, right right all the shit i listen to now is like i just started listening to like <laughs> a few months ago. I feel like yeah. we've talked about Kanye the last five episodes. 
or probably I more. I mean, dude, he's just been like. Hey, yeah. And oh, okay, to finish out talking it? about Kanye. No, I actually, fucking, I have more about Kanye. <laughs> no, I literally, I went on a deep dive. Like, I literally have listened to Donda, like through oh. like probably ten times. Fucking great album. Um, way better than Certified Lover Boy. Oh, way yeah. better. Oh yeah. Like I would say, I more than like, like eighty percent of the songs on the album. I think like. 10% of the songs on the album are like just like good and then there's like 10% of the songs that I'm like eh they're okay um, which is like really fucking good usually it's like I like like 50% of the songs like 30% is like okay and then the rest are like not really that good yeah. mm-hmm. uh, so Adam uh, told me and I saw a picture about this and I didn't know if it was legit or not but apparently so you know how in the listening event, uh we were gonna play G D Anthem. Yeah. So mm-hmm. apparently Kanye is hopping on a remix. <laughs> no way. I mean that's like the word that I'm hearing. Wow. That'd be Yeah. Damn. So just Fuck Larry Hoover though. <laughs> just an ending little arc on that whole like the craziness. Yeah, he might actually be in a remix. So Well that wild. that shit was crazy that like cause you hear it on the album. It's on the album mm-hmm. too with Larry Hoover and then It just seemed Next I, thing, G D I'm like it seems so like yeah, just weird. I was like, I feel like this is like. I bet Larry Hoover's probably pissed about it. I don't know. Cause well, it, Larry Hoover Jr. At least. Oh, Larry Hoover Jr. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, I wonder what he thinks of this because he's saying like, because his message was like, if my dad gets out, he won't be associated with you know the Gangster Disciples. But then the next song's G.D. Anthem, so it's like, <laughs> I was like, I don't really like. I'm. I don't know. I was like, I feel like we're getting two different messages hey, here. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't yeah. know. It was kind of interesting. No, but my I think the best. Well. I'll say my favorite two songs on the, on the album, Jail um, and Junya. Right, right, right. Those are, like, fucking awesome. The jail's yeah. really good. Jail, the, the fucking beat on that shit mm-hmm. is insane. A, made in the image of God, that's a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> fucking love that line. That's <laughs> such a Kanye line. Yeah. <laughs> the Raiders what? won? Oh, wow. Damn! You're Finally hearing it here. Their, their only one of the season. <laughs> You're hearing it here live. Three days after <laughs> the Raiders won. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, and come to life. Come to life. Fuck. Oh, that song's good. Just whatever you do, don't hit play. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, um, Fucking two seconds of it. Copyright. I know. I wish we could be like, oh, oh play the beat real quick. Wait, would we get and copyrighted the... if we uh, did like reactions to the funny ads? I have no idea. Um. And he did the he did the Kobe I don't tribute. Know. So I mean, they could. Like, come after us if they want, but I don't know if they'd want to. What ads? Like, what do you mean? I uh, just, like, I thought it would be funny to react to old funny ads. Oh, you mean, like, vintage commercials? Hey, yeah, or, like, you know those oh, that's old... that's actually uh, an interesting idea. You know, like, the Skittle commercials that they have? Oh, that'd yeah. be cool. Dude, have you seen, like, the old Folgers commercials where the dudes are, like, about to beat their wife? <laughs> yeah, I think we've talked about that. Hey, yeah, you we've for us. sure talked hey, about you it. you showed me. Oh, yeah, well, you know what? I'm going to save... I'm gonna save what I have to say because that might be a funny idea. Like some of these old commercials, because yeah. some of them are wild. Hey, yeah. But yeah, uh, Kanye did his Kobe tribute on the album. He has a song called Twenty Four. Yeah, so obviously. Yeah. But then, uh, I think the biggest song on the album, as far as like plays and stuff, like downloads and whatever, is uh, Hurricane. Mm-hmm. But funnily enough, like I like the song, but that was in the in like in the songs that I'm like, it's good, not great. Yeah. Even though that's like the fucking highest trending song off that album right now i uh i should probably listen to it again because i only listened to it once and it's there's just so many songs good. on the album that it's like a lot to keep track of hey, yeah. yeah um I ethan. Uh, ethan ethan could you do me a favor real quick and restart the camera there's a little red button on the front with the red dot or the button's not red but there's a red dot next to it and then you just got to hit that once and then twice again and then uh the screen should say that it's recording don't fuck it up or we're gonna sue you Oh yeah, I'll see the shit no. out of you. But I'll basically, where? Uh, so it's like on the front of the camera. On the front? No, 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 the front, like the other side. <laughs> Anyways, um, here, <laughs> keep the conversation going. <laughs> but, uh, fucking, so You're basically, fired. basically every time I've been solo queuing Smite, like if I'm just playing by myself, mm-hmm. I've just put on Spotify and been listening to. Dark I need Dark. to actually listen to through. So far, like, like I, I've, I've listened to the like, I think the five like popular song yeah. from it but i haven't I, i've probably listened to it like five or six times through like while doing other stuff mm-hmm. i've listened to it twice through where i'm like actively listening the whole yeah. time where i'm like this is the song i'm listening to da 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 that's where i like that's where i figured out like okay these are my favorite songs 
Like when I was just listening to it while playing video games, I was kind of figuring out, do I like the album? Yeah. And yes, I do very much. I'll just cue it when like, I'm at work. Yeah. On my deliveries. I, I'd give it probably, I'd give it like an eight and a half out of ten. Like it's That's fair. fucking strong album. That's fair. And like the only reason I don't give it like a nine is because like, just because it's definitely not gonna be mainstream. Yeah. Well, it's like also- it's not a commercial album, which is why I really like it. But I'm taking points off because I'm like. Like it's just not gonna sell as much, you know. Yeah. Just because well, it's not a commercial sound. Yeah. Even though it's Kanye. It's also like, it's really. It felt like there was a lot of fat that could have been trimmed. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, but that's with every Kanye album, though. Every. Yeah. You like you look at all his albums. All of his albums have like fucking a bunch of songs, and there's a lot of interludes, a lot of like, you know, part twos and yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. That like don't need to be in there, but like, it's a Kanye album. But this so one felt weird. like. I was like, it's holy pretty bloated. shit, this album is like, not even long, but it just felt like there was a lot of songs where I was like, like the intro that was... one could just not, honestly, not even the intro one, because I was like, oh, okay, yeah, you got like one intro song, it's just weird, but I was like, there were so many songs where I was like, eh, I was like, yeah. A then couple there was of like, them blend together. Yeah, because that's the thing, there was like a whole album of like really good songs in there, but then there was a whole nother album of like fillers, where I was like, <laughs> I feel like this could just not be well, here. There's like, really... there's like five or six songs in there that I'm like, that are like, oh, I'm like, that's okay. Like, yeah. it's like average. Like, you take those five or six songs out, it's a nine and a half out there's of There's still like a whole other album. <laughs> like, yeah, there's a lot of fat like, to be fucking true. Yeah. Which is weird because I just got, fi- like, I like went from, I was listening to Off Season, which yeah. is like fucking like a tw- tight 12 song album. Yeah. Well, like all the J. Cole stuff. It's like, it's a tight like 12 to, thir- to 14, 15 yeah. songs. Like, I mean, even in 95 South, he's like basically calling out people like, oh, people are cheering because you got, a hundred thousand cells on your album with thirty songs, <laughs> like good for you. Yeah. I put out, I go fucking platinum on my album with twelve songs. Yeah, so, so I went from listening to fucking that like a lot to mm-hmm. listening to Donda. Yeah, which is like like a tw- twenty five songs or some it's, shit like that. Dude, it's like a two hour album, which like which like I would say eighty percent of it is fucking really good. Okay, that's why it's an eight and a half, like eight eight and a half, not a nine. Yeah. Because, there's, like you said, there's just a lot of fat that could have been trimmed. Yeah. But I now come to expect that with Kanye. So yeah. I feel like I forgive it a little bit more. I think Kendrick and yeah. J. Cole are definitely way better at having, like, a clear, concise track yeah. list of, like, yeah, there's always a few that are, like, songs that bridge the story of, like, the other ones or there's some things. But it's, like, for the most part, I feel like with Kendrick and J. Cole, it's usually very lean and, like, to the point. Like, yeah. each song matters, but there's not weird, redundant ones that straight up just don't need to be there. Yeah. And also, not only is there... So, there's 27 songs on the album, but not only is there a lot of songs, like, there's a lot of songs over five minutes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's an hour and 48-minute album. Yeah. How Which, long? like... Okay, so 27 songs, an hour and 48, then you go to how off-season. After that, how long... Look up For Your Eyes Only by J. Cole. Because that one has some really long songs in it, but I feel like every song matters. You know what I mean? None of them felt like, yeah, this doesn't need to be here at all. So compare that beast of an album, 27 songs, hour 48 minutes. J. Cole's The Off Season, 12 songs, 39 minutes. Hmm. And then what other album did you want me to look at? Uh, Look up um, For Your Eyes Only. Because that one also has like some long songs, but I feel like... That one is 10 songs, 44 minutes. See, that one has, then, I felt like, it's funny, that one's only 44 minutes. I felt like it was longer because it's like, there's some long songs and it feels like each song is so dense yeah. with let's, like material and lyrics and so much shit to follow. Okay, let's look at J. Cole's, probably, arguably his best album, probably his best album, and also like, what, bar none, the most famous, 2014 oh, Four Souls Yeah, Drive. definitely yeah. most famous for sure. So let's yeah. look at that. That's 13 songs an hour and four minutes. It's so funny. Like, I always felt like they were a little bit longer, but I guess they're just there's a lot of like density yeah. there. You know what I mean? And then let's look at like not even felt that longer to, in a bad way. Felt longer like just I didn't realize it was that short. You know yeah. what I mean? Compare that to Kendrick, like fucking to pimp a butterfly. <laughs> That's also 16 songs an hour and 18, so a little bit longer, but not crazy. Yeah. So Kanye makes some fucking long fat ass albums. Then, uh, what's his next bet? Probably what's first fucking. Was that Good Kid, Mad City? Is thirteen songs an hour and thirteen. The deluxe is seventeen songs an hour thirty two. Even fucking Kendrick's deluxe version of yeah. an album he already released is still like fifteen minutes shorter than mm. Kanye's regular release. Yeah, and there's definitely a couple like Jail Part Two 
is good, but mm-hmm. it's good because it's just jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With like some different lyrics. That, like, that could have been cut. When, fucking yeah. Like there's when there's a came few on, I part like, two. Why is this here? I it's the same like, song. Same yeah. song. <laughs> no, I like he, there's a cup. There's he has some different lyrics. Yeah. But I'm like, just make the song longer. Or just cut a that verse was, and put one of those yeah, verses yeah. in. That was the thing, yeah. Like when that one came on, I was like, "We already heard this. Yeah. Why is I think this you here?" Could, I think you pretty much cut out all the part twos in yeah. that album. Yeah, because honestly, yeah. Like when Jail Part Two came on, I was like, "I love the beat, love the sample, and everything." I was like, "I loved it the first time too." <laughs> yeah, I was like, "But I kind of liked it more the first time." Like I want to hear something else. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, yeah, it was weird. I don't know. Good album though. There's this uh, one band that I listened to. They made a song with 666 different artists. Oh, yeah, How? Tell me about that. It's the song's over an hour long. Oh my! <laughs> Wait, it's one song? Yeah, it's just one song. But it has 600 people on it. Yeah. <laughs> so what? They like each get a second of the song? I yeah, they get like I think like five seconds of the song. Oh, that's the dumbest shit I've ever it, heard. Is it man. just dumb. Is it just like a different style every five seconds, basically? Basically, but they really only did it so they could beat the uh, Guinness World Record. Oh. <laughs> Because I know, didn't they do a, wow. they did that song where it was like one, it was like a thousand uh, people performing one song, but yeah. it was like all at once. Yeah. So they just basically did like, this is the bass section times fucking a thousand, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, That's, that's crazy. Have you heard that one song? It's, um, it's an old one. It was came out in the nineties, but it has like a bunch of like old California rappers. Like it had Easy e on it. And then it also had, like, MC Ren. It had, like, this one girl. Um, it had, like, ten different people, but they were just all, like, uh, you know, Southern California, like, L.A., Watts, Compton area-ish, like, rappers from, like, that era. It's kind of interesting. And they all have, like, a verse on it. What's it called? Um, I need to look it up. It's, uh, but it's pretty crazy because they each throw in a verse. Hmm. And, um... Oh, That's a man. long fucking song. Yeah, it's like a ten minute song. Yeah. Um, uh, Metallica. Trying to yeah. <laughs> it's a Metallica song. Oh yeah, you're you see right. what they did? Who? They you did know, they put on a little this. concert with the uh, Miley Cyrus. What? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. They they did a um I think it's nothing else matters. What the heck? She Miley did, Cyrus? Yeah, she sung the whole thing basically. It was weird. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> um, I feel like she tried um sounding too much. Like the actual singer, she tried to put too much fucking uh yeah, kind of like the um, distortion. Oh <laughs> yeah, what <laughs> we're all in the same gang. That's what it's called. Uh, and it has King T, Digital Underground, Body and Soul, MC Hammer, uh, Easy E. Uh, I know the MC Ren somewhere in here. Young MC, yeah, MC Ren. Uh, obviously it's got Dr. Dre. I guess not obviously, but yeah, Ice T. Um, above the law, um, tone lock, uh, just some girl named Michelle, uh, and Def Jeff. It has all those people. Damn. But I mean, like some of them, it's like, damn, all these people on one song and it's just some random song that came out in like the nineties. Hmm. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Yeah, but, um, it's, it's kind of like, that's like the equivalent today is like not for a song, but it's like when, uh. When J. Cole did Dreamville and just brought fucking oh, yeah, a yeah, bunch yeah. of people out to Fayetteville. Dude, I love how, like, okay, I love Dreamville. I love, like, the whole lineup they got. And then, like, also, um, Top Dog has so many great artists on one label. Like, those yeah. two labels are, like, so fucking powerful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When you look at all the people that they have, it's pretty crazy. Like, those two labels alone are just so much talent. Yeah. But yeah, it's pretty wild. Bro, I'm kind of hungry. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like, I mean, do you guys have, like, do we have anything else? Like, I feel like. <laughs> we about to do a hell of a short just, episode? I kind of just want to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking hungry. I mean, we've done 40 minutes. It's not that bad, actually. Honestly, bro, I'm chill with ending. Like, yeah. I don't, have, right. I don't have that much to talk about. Honestly, like, I've just been listening to fucking so much Kanye lately. That was most of what <laughs> Dude, I had. Dude, just so much yay. <laughs> or, sorry, yee. Bro, ye. I literally, <laughs> to take a break from Donda, I went back and listened to 808s. That's mm-hmm. literally what I did as a break from Kanye is I went and listened to 808s, which is probably the most similar album to this one. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. I did. I I threw in a couple songs from uh from Story of Pablo too. Oh, okay. Story of Pablo is such a fucking good album. I need to listen like, to that. Like Kanye's one. worst I've never listened to it all the way through, uh, dude. What's like That's, the famous songs off that one? Uh, here I will look it up. 
for you. I'll tell you all the songs on it. Did I tell you that uh, Kill Switch and Gage made a song with their old singer? Really? Yeah, they did like the new singer and the old singer in one song. Uh, actually, maybe, it, it came out on their maybe newer you did album. Tell me that. It's fucking, it's cool. <laughs> oh, did I tell you? Um, fuck. No, sorry. Did I say the story of Pablo and the Life of Pablo? Yeah, I knew Whoops. what you meant, but uh, Freestyle Four is on it, which is a f- <sighs> banger of a song. Father Stretch My Hands on it, also a bammer. Bammer? Bammer. Banger. Bammer. <laughs> what? <laughs> um. Oh. Where is it? Low Lights is on it. Or sorry, highlights, low lights and highlights, but low lights is like the downtrack to highlights. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's one song that I'm looking for. MPA had Pusha T. Oh, that one. ASAP uh, Rocky. Wait, hold on. That's like, on uh, St- uh, Life of Pablo. Yeah. What? I didn't realize I that. Have to listen to it because mm-hmm. I don't recognize wait, any of the songs. Wait, that's on. Wait, it's on a Pusha T album. Oh no, sorry. Uh, sorry, I'm just looking at a Life of Pablo playlist. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I was gonna no, say, but, like, did they both? <laughs> put, I was like, did they split the song on both of their albums? No, like, yeah. That, <laughs> that just came out at the same time. That's because that song I love. That song's fucking. Oh uh, no, Life great. of Pablo had some bangers on it though. What's the like, uh, fuck? What's that guy's name? The guy that sings on MPA. Um, and then it has oh no, you know the I love Kanye more than Kanye loves Kanye. Right, right, right. That <laughs> interlude is from Life of Pablo. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. I love Kanye. I love Kanye as much as Kanye loves Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> and no more parties in LA was on that. Oh album. right, I didn't realize that, that was that album. That song is. Oh, I love that song. <laughs> it's literally like, and this this is more of like a digestible album. Like it's twenty yeah, songs, yeah. hour six minutes. Yeah, not bad. And it's like, it's nice to listen to. Yeah. Eight oh eight, so still his best album. Fight me. That one's like huge. A lot of people love that one. He doesn't um, have a good album. Not a single one? No. Damn, it's a hot take. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Go listen to Graduation. That'll change your mind. Yeah. Oh, Cam. <laughs> so I, I already know I already told Cody, but I'm going to a, I'm going to a baseball game tomorrow. Yeah, you told me. Wait, I did? Yeah. Wait, did I not tell Cody or did I tell... You told me. Oh, I guess I told both of you. Never mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but don't, don't mistake me. I'm not going to be a Giants fan. Oh, you better be. No. You're going to come out with the Giants... Oh, fuck. Hype beast. No, Yo, I'm just saying, I went to a fucking A's game, and I now have two A's hats that I don't wear. <laughs> My girlfriend's like, why don't you wear them? I'm like, nah, bro. I let you buy them for me because you were like, okay, I'm going to an A's game. I'll wear some A's gear. I'm not wearing it in public. I'm a Braves fan. <laughs> like, that's just what it's going to be. If you see me buy merch and wear it, just know I've been cloned. <laughs> <laughs> they sent me to the same place they sent Gucci Mane. God. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Man. I feel like... We had such a good talk before the podcast. I feel like yeah. I like drained my energy. We yeah, but we of... really can't talk about what we talked about before on the podcast, though. No, we can't talk about what we talked about before. But if uh, you know what, man, eventually, maybe if it does actually happen, then we could. If it does actually happen, there'll be some exciting stuff. Like It'll I'll be, be able to buy really new, exciting. I'll be able to buy a new camera and like a new computer and like we can. The our podcast, lives, our lives will be very. Different. Let's let's say this: there'll be a new set for the podcast. <laughs> Hell yeah, we'll have a new be. set. Yep. Actually, you know what? If we do do that, also, I'm going to buy, like, a better light. Fuck it. Like we'll a f- f- studio light. Fuck yeah. it. We'll fucking lease a fucking legit studio. Nah, not that much. I was no. going to say, no, 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 I think I'm cool. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm good. If it, go, I, I, if it goes a year, I, I, want, I like the free studio, uh, though. The yeah. equipment is forever. The yeah. equipment's forever. Studio time. Hey, if it goes a year, fuck around and find out, you know? <laughs> yeah. If it somehow went for a year. I'd still rather just buy equipment. Yeah. Because <laughs> already, like, already a camera is going to be minimum two grand. That's before a lens. Chump change. Um, 3500 if I get the camera I want. 2000 if I settle. Chump change. <laughs> no, dude, because it's going to be like, okay, so it's going to be either two or like 3500 2500 maybe. And then if I get the lenses I want, they're going to be between like 1000 and 2000 No, nah, some, some, some shit could happen. No guarantee. Yeah, no if guarantees. It, if it does, get ready for a much higher production quality podcast. You know, we should just... We're selling drugs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, remember any any flavor molly beans? We're getting into the Coke business, all right? <laughs> we're, sell, we're now starting our any flavor molly beans business. Uh, FDA approved. FDA approved. Any flavor. Just like the Pfizer vaccine. <laughs> we don't know how it happened, but it did. <laughs> yeah, we're... Uh, we're making, you know how we joked around in one of the first episodes about how to make like hard drugs cool again? We're yeah. making like the stizzies of meth. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna come in like different flavors. You get like the ice, icy, minty flavor. There'll be like lemon. There'll icy be like, mint hey, meth. it's gonna go real yeah. good until we get sued in about two years. Well, no, we're gonna coffee relocate. Flavored meth. That's why we're relocating. We're relocating. Meth flavored coffee. Ooh. Ooh. We're relocating down to um Columbia. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. And we're gonna come like big time like coke movers. Oh yeah, know? for sure. Just, like <laughs> pushing just kilos. Plug dude. photo two point Oh yeah, and then we'll be recording, and we'll have like all the girls in the back cutting it up, you know. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and then that'll we're be, gonna like, be the like the set. We're gonna be like just like showing our illegal activity in the videos, just like the rappers rap about it. Yeah. Can't yeah. Do nothing to us though. Do you remember? Okay, so do you remember? Real quick, last thing before we end. Do you remember on one of the Joey Diaz on Joe Rogan episodes? Where he was talking about like that drug lord who would just record this shit of him talking and he'd be like, oh, yeah. just do. I looked that up and I found some of those videos and it's like straight up what Joey says. Wow. The guy's Damn. just like sitting there and he has like these people around and he's just crazy, just like talk. Joey was like, this guy was like podcasting before podcast. He said something similar to that. And low key, that's kind of what it is. The guy's just at a table talking to a camera. I was that's like, this insane. is kind of innovative in a weird way. <laughs> hey, I made, I made fucking 500 G's today. Sold a lot of coke. Yeah. Making a lot of money. Oh, yeah. And I fucked a lot of bitches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. End of story. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking oh, yeah. halfway through the pot, he's just like, anyways. <laughs> well, that's how it was, like, apparently. Like, I didn't get to those parts, but Joey said that the guy was, like, just doing coke on camera and just, like, it's yeah. insane. Crazy. Yeah. Oh, anyways. He's not asleep. <laughs> no. Um, but let's, yeah. get, let's get, let's uh, get, anyways. We'll let's get, get coke. Let's get, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get Lots of coke. All right. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. It's like and subscribe. Time. Hey, you're welcome. Shorter episodes so you didn't have to watch as much and be as... Uh, it didn't have to be as painful for your ears and eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or your balls. Yeah. Anyways, Gold yeah. see you all next balls. week. Later, guys. I love you so much.